2023, I just want to encourage you that the Lord is fighting on your behalf. Just continue to move forward. So I just wanted to come on today and bless our lovely singles who desire and believe that they are called to marry. Marriage is a ministry. Ministry comes from a Greek word that means to serve. A husband and a wife serve each other unto the Lord. And so they serve each other in humility and in love and also in forgiveness. I've taken my experiences in my marriage of 25 plus years as well from friends who have navigated through marital circumstances and I have captured some of that in this prayer. Let us pray. I forbid and disallow boredom to afflict my future husband. My future husband will not have idle hands, as idle hands bring folly. My future husband will speak wholesome words, building up and not tearing down. He will put God first. Salvation is his. He will obtain grace to renew his mind. He will renew his mind and know the will of God for his life. He will be able to find the will of God for his life, for his future, and for his family in Jesus' name. My future husband will do the good works that God has prepared for him in advance. He will not have idle hands. According to Proverbs 16, 27, idle hands are the devil's workshop. Idle lips are his mouthpiece. So my future spouse will not have idle hands. He will know the will of God for his life, the will of God, which is good, pleasing, and perfect in Jesus' name. Deliver my future spouse and I, O oh God, from the hand of evil seducers, from fornication, from the spirit of polygamy, from the spirit of womanizing in Jesus' name. Deliver us, O oh God, from the need, the pull to inappropriately befriend the opposite sex. Deliver us from the constant need for unhealthy attention and people-pleasing spirit to be loyal to strangers and not our union in Jesus' name. I come in agreement with Proverbs 18.22 that he who finds a wife finds a good thing. And so my husband will love me and not treat me harshly and not become bitter against me in Jesus' name. I pull down wicked and carnal strongholds fashioned against my future marriage in Jesus' name. These weapons and evil devices will not prevail in Jesus' name. My future marriage is protected because I believe in Isaiah 54, 17, that no weapon that is formed against me, that means any area of my life, including my future marriage, will not prosper in Jesus' name. I pull down lust. I pull down porn. I pull down the spirit of deception. I pull down the spirit of Leviathan that's responsible for pride and arrogance. I pull down a lying tongue, lies against my marriage, lies within my marriage. I pull them down in Jesus' name. I pull down evil association. I pull down communication gap in the name of Jesus. I pull down gambling, ungodly entertainment, physical and emotional adultery. I pull down depression in my marriage. I pull down gluttony in the marriage. I pull down engaging in negative social media platforms in the name of Jesus. I pull down disloyalty. I pull down a misplaced priorities. I pull down selfishness. I pull down inappropriate conversation via calls, texts, and chat rooms in the name of Jesus. I pull down incomplete leaving and incomplete cleaving to each other in the name of Jesus. I pull down addictions. I pull down mental health issues in my marriage in the name of Jesus. These evil weapons and these evil devices formed against me, against my future spouse, against my future marriage will not prosper in Jesus' name. By the authority given to me in Luke 10, 19, every curse that has been issued against my future marriage be canceled and reversed in Jesus' name. Any power which says that I will not enjoy my future marital life be broken now in Jesus' name. My future marriage is a blessing from God. 
as he adds no sorrow to it, according to Proverbs 10, 22, in Jesus' name. We will enjoy our union and our days together in Jesus' name. Our days will be filled with love, joy, and peace. So let every imagination, thought, plan, decision, and desire, and expectation of divorce and separation against my future home be notified, be overthrown, and be overruled in Jesus' name. As Romans 12.10 says, we will be devoted to one another. We will show honor and respect to each other in Jesus' name. I disapprove and prohibit every opposition to my breakthroughs. And I speak God's anointing to prosper over my life and my future marriage in Jesus' name. That we will walk in good health. That we'll be lenders and not borrowers. That we'll have peace that passes all understanding in Jesus' name. May the Lord cause my future marriage, family, and kids to flourish, increase, thrive, and grow in Jesus' name. By the authority given to me in Luke 10, 19, Matthew 18, 18, I command failure, frustration, and disappointment to come upon every evil influence, and I bind any internal and external interference of me getting married and joining with my future spouse and us becoming one flesh in Jesus' name. I declare Mark 10, 9 over my future marriage in Jesus' name. Satan, hear the word of the Lord. You will not break my future family or home in Jesus' name. What God has joined together, let no one separate. Let no one split what he has joined together. And so we will honor and respect each other in our marriage. And by God's grace, the marriage bed kept pure in Jesus' name. I announce that it is you, O oh Lord, that has blessed me. Therefore, I thank you in advance that my future husband will love me just as Christ loved the church. And he will use the word of God to build me up in Jesus' name. As a wife, I will respect and honor and be caring to his needs in Jesus' name. And our kids will obey us and respect us as parents in the Lord, for this is right in Jesus' name. Lord, your word is right and true, living and active. Therefore, your word in Jeremiah 29, 11 stands forever, proclaiming that you, Lord, have plans for me plans to prosper me and to not harm me, but to give me a hope and a future. Therefore, let every curse on my future husband, my future home, my future marriage by way of witchcraft, divination, plans of troublemakers, satanic operations that are designed to hinder, prevent, frustrate, deny or delay God's original plans for my life be converted to blessings in Jesus' name. Oh Lord, I thank you in advance that my future husband, my future marriage is on the way. I believe it and I receive it in Jesus' name.